welcome back to my channel. Today, as you saw by the title, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of an update on my crystals, my plants, and my hermit crab. I feel like those pair really well together. I am just like, okay, don't look at my skin. Don't look at that, but everything else is going good. I woke up at like, six ish 6 30 ish and i went to the gym for a good hour and a half this morning got breakfast showered got back and had like a little self-care day like shave my face did a face mask did a hair mask put some oils in my hair shave moisturize you know a little self-care day but without further ado i want to update you guys first on my crystals if you guys haven't seen my video here i went crystal shopping in this little like somebody in the comments actually commented on that video what the actual name of the store the type of store is called i'll put that here if i can find it but yes i just want to update you on some crystals because a lot of them are crystals that i got that day so they're actually charging today they haven't charged in quite a while but it was a super sunny gorgeous gorgeous day so i thought why not charge them so you guys saw this one was the one that i got when i went to the i believe it was when i went to the beach um i got this with my mom and it is just this huge rock i'll put the names on here but these orangey ones this one too these are my favorite types of rocks they also go really well with my zodiac sign just look how pretty she is so she is charging and then this is one that i actually got from that little store that i filmed i love her she's raw she's not finished so so pretty this has been one of my favorites of course my big guy is my favorite but i love this one and then the story behind this one i actually have no idea what type of rock this is or crystal um my friend actually got this for me a couple years back i believe it was for my birthday she got this for me she said that she found it at a thrift store i believe so i want to do some more research on this if you guys know what kind of rock this is let me, or not rock i keep saying rock crystal this is let me know but it just comes with this little like wiring design around it so cute and it does stand up like a little tower and then you guys saw that i got this one which is called angel light i think i'm saying that right but this one basically means that my angels are with me when i carry it with me or have it around i love this one just a pretty light blue color so i am charging her up this one the story behind this one is i actually got this rock from spain so i got two of them i got this one for me which the camera's not picking it up too well but it is this like very very dark blue with this like glistening sparkles in it but i also got my mom a like very teal blue one but yes that was just like a little present that i got us uh, some matching rocks or crystals i don't really know like if this is a crystal or a rock I mean, I think it's a rock, but so pretty. So yes, I've had that for a really long time. And once it's done charging, I put it inside of like one of my favorite plants. I just like set it in the dirt because it looks really pretty there. And it kind of sits like an egg. This was another one that I got in that video. This one is just really, really plain, but so, so pretty. I love this one in the light. I mean, you can literally see all the way through it. And then here is another one. Oh, the puddle is because our window like sweats because it literally gets so cold outside so just ignore the the puddles <laughs> anyway i believe this one i also got when i went to that cool little store but i love this one because it has that purple in there i think that is so pretty and also it has a really cool shape i mean the bottom of it is very flat and the top of it is more raw and edgy love her so yes those are all going to charge today in the sunshine So then the next update I want to do is on my little hermit crab. By this time, you guys would have seen that I actually completely renovated her cage and just made her like a whole little getaway, basically. So for the most part, it is still the same as when I set it up. I did move a couple things. Okay, so let me get this out of here. This was a piece of apple that I put in there, but it's all like dried up now. But 
she's still loving her little cage i love this little container terrarium thing that i bought on amazon it is a little bit small i wish it was bigger because i keep seeing all these like really cool like hermit crab like toys and like crawly things and all this stuff but i just don't really have room for it in here but overall i do still love it the heating pad is probably one of the best things i bought because it has kept her so warm but also not like too warm it's the perfect temperature i don't know how to explain it but these really flat small little heating pads on amazon are a must and they're so cheap so definitely get one of those if you're looking for something like that you guys remember i had the new containers for the sponge and the food but i actually took the top of my medicine container and used that because it's so much smaller the other one took up so much room for no reason it was basically just like taking up space so i just used the top of that and then also if you guys remember i think i put it under here somewhere yes so this used to be her old little habitat thing that she loved to hang out in but again that took up a lot of room with the size of the cage so i got this other one which is literally just a square you can see she's in there right now her little shell but she loves that and also whatever material this is it heats up as well with whatever like the sand temperature is and then i decided just to throw some fake leaves over that so it felt a little bit more homey and cozy and so it was darker in there for her during the day and then of course her little crawly thing which you guys saw as soon as i put that in there and put, dropped her in this cage when i first renovated it she loved it so she is doing great. And I actually am going to go and get her a little friend, I believe this weekend. I figured why not go and get her a little tiny baby friend because they do like having friends and I figure maybe she's lonely. Maybe, maybe after all these years, she wants another friend to try again. We'll give it a shot, but I am gonna go buy a little one. And then I'm also gonna get my mom two more because my mom was actually like heartbroken when I took her name's Squirt. I named her when I was like nine, like I said, but she was heartbroken when I took her because my mom took care of her for so long. So I'm gonna go and get two more hermit crabs for my mom to have. So I'll be sure to show you guys that. And now let's go update you on my plants. So little thing that happened with my plants is I actually left them in that window one night, which is where they normally are, is in the window all the time. But I left them in the window and cracked it. And that night it happened to be like negative 19 degrees. So I woke up and literally just by cracking the window, the entire window was frozen over. Like it had an inch of ice on the inside and my plants, literally all the moisture in them completely froze. They were freezing. Like it felt like an ice cube when I was holding the pot that they were in and they all were just like so like brown and whimpered and like basically dead. I thought I killed all my babies. So I put them out in the living room on top of our heater. So then that way when that clicks on, it warms them up a little bit because I think overall those plants do like warmer temperatures. They don't like the cold. So I'll go show you that, but they are slowly coming back to life. So this is my jade plant and out of all the plants that were in the window, this one is doing the best, but you can see the roots are like near the bottom is just brown and kind of dried out. but. It's getting better, I don't know, but she's doing good. And then this is my spider plant, which is so, so sad. It, it's been a couple weeks since I have filmed this video and it still is looking pretty bad. So I think a lot of these I'm just going to have to replant. And this was all my like mixed succulents, which unfortunately you can see it are having a rough time, but I think I'm also going to replant these guys as well. And fingers crossed, we will hope for the best. So yes, this is part of the reason why I stick to fake plants. More fake plants, more fake plants, um, dead plants. So that's my video, my little update on my crystals, plants, and my hermit crab. Hi guys, so it is about three o'clock. The sun is not going down, but it's going to be soon. So there's no more sunshine for these guys to sit in so i'm going to return them back to their home i set these guys right on my desk so i have all the crystal powers when i am doing my homework editing sitting here doing whatever let me turn on the fairy lights so it's a little bit more angelic these babies Whoa. This little guy there with these little rocks on my shelf with my good luck gnome. 
Um, okay. And this guy goes out in my plant. Oh, you can see the color way better right here. Like, look how pretty that is. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, make sure you subscribe. I post new videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.